Hey ladies, um, if you would watch the video that I just uploaded before this one, you will see how I did at home acrylic tips. Um, I did use French tips, so if you want to just leave them plain, leave them plain. They actually look really good and I'm somewhat tempted not to paint over them, but you know that I love my polish and I have all of these new metallic clean colors that I'm trying to use and um, they're just beautiful colors so I just want to use them. So I am going to go ahead and paint over um, the white tip but it does look a lot better than I expected it to turn out considering I haven't done this in a long time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a nail design anyway and um, I'm going to use two of the metallic clean colors that I recently got and I um, unboxed those in a mail time video um, if you look at my channel. So um, these are some really beautiful colors. One of these is called Metallic Aqua and one of these is called Metallic Sapphire. If you look closely, the aqua is the lighter blue um, and the sapphire is a really, really deep blue. I actually have swatches of these. Let me grab them. Sorry. Okay. Um, here are the two swatches. Okay, so this is kind of what they look like once they're painted and they look similar but in the light you can see clearly the sapphire is a dark blue, the aqua is a light blue. So I thought that together they go together very well. They're not too different in color but they are enough to kind of contrast with the light blue and the dark blue. So. Okay, so we are going to start off, sorry my camera is being weird, we're going to start off with um, the lighter color. And this is the metallic aqua, okay? And um, I have swatched these, but it's been a while and since I have swatched them, so I really just don't remember how well they applied. Um, so I'm just gonna start here on my pinky. Just go ahead and start painting. Okay. All right. And since I have these white uh, tips on underneath here, that white is like showing through at the end. So I'm going to make sure I paint the end of the nail um, just because I don't want you to see the white tip underneath. Because um, if you watch that video, I didn't really want to use white tips, but that's what I had. And so that's what I used. I prefer just the natural tips, the more clear ones. Um, so here we go. So here is the Metallic Aqua. Um, I, I'm in love with these polishes. The, um, the Metallic Fuchsia that I used a couple weeks back, it did stain my nail, but um, I did get most of it off, and once I painted over it, you couldn't tell at all. So it didn't really damper my love that much. Um, I still absolutely love these Metallic clean color polishes. They go on so smoothly and you'll see that's one coat and I'm done. I do not have to do a second coat. They are so vibrant and colorful and they go on very smooth. They're not runny. They don't drip anywhere. Um, they're fabulous. So um, I'm going to go ahead and paint um, the next nail. I think I'll do something a little different today. Um, Let's go ahead and do, mm, I really like this color though, actually nah, I'm going to stick to my normal, just alternating. I'll do something different on another day, I'm not feeling too adventurous after undertaking <laughs> putting on a full set of acrylics at home, that kind of took the wind out of me, so I'm not going to get too ambitious. Uh, okay, so I'm going to paint the end here because you can see that white um, tip, and I'm not going to paint the whole thing underneath but I am gonna paint just the edge here because that's what you're gonna see and the white looks weird so see I painted just the edge so you can't really see the white um, so here we go make sure that's looks good because I am just gonna do one coat because there's no reason to do two so there we go done with that and you can see how fast this goes on I mean I love, I love these clean color polishes. I'm sorry. I just really do. And I have to be kind of careful painting because I just put these acrylics on so I don't want to have to use any um, polish remover on them. 
because I don't think they're completely set up yet. They're not as hard as they normally get. I'm going to paint that end. I got some on my skin. No! Okay. Paint the end. Let me just wipe that off. Okay. So here is the metallic fuchsia. This is the lighter color. Um, and once I use this metallic sapphire, the darker blue, I think you'll be able to, able to see the contrast because they are different colors. They are just very similar, but one's dark and, and one's light, basically. So here we go with the metallic sapphire. I don't know why this shadow is there. Let me try this again. This is like the prettiest color ever. The metallic fuchsia is my favorite of the colors, and this one was my second favorite, this metallic sapphire. It's this dark, deep, sparkly blue. It's so pretty. Okay, let me paint my edge here. And as you can see, I'm not getting patches. They're not streaky. They're not, you know, goopy or running all over the place. They are a thicker formula, but I like that. I have a little more control, and um, there's not really a whole lot to clean up here. Okay, so there is the metallic sapphire, and if I get over here in the light a little bit, you can tell this is darker than these. And of course, when I take some pictures, you'll be able to see that a little bit more. So let me finish this hand. And I love these polishes. You can see how quickly I can paint my nails and just be done with it. It's not time consuming because they're amazing and they're cheap. It was only like $15, I think, for 12 polishes. Um, I got mine off eBay, and I got the whole set. And I actually ordered another set. I'm going to be doing a giveaway because I am at 100 subscribers. I love you guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing that as soon as they get here, and I'm going to give away a full set of all 12 just because I love them so much, and I think that my wonderful subscribers would love them too. Okay, so here we go. This is metallic fuchsia is the, not fuchsia, blah, metallic aqua. I've probably been saying metallic fuchsia the whole time. Uh, metallic aqua is the lighter color, and metallic sapphire is the darker blue. And that is just, it's so pretty. And this is one coat. You can see there's really no cleanup, and the only cleanup I do really need to do was my fault. Um... So they're just, they're fabulous, and they're so pretty. They've got this beautiful jewel tone, and they're sparkly. Um, so I'm done with this hand. So I'm going to move to the second one, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp. Um, I've moved on in my new collection of cheeky jumbo plates. I've moved on to plate B this time. Um, this it has a lot of just full nail images. I think I'm going to try this one right here, but it really just depends on how the image transfers. So this is also kind of like trying these out for the first time. Um, I'm going to be using this Milani What's it called? White on the spot polish to stamp with. I saw this on So Guess What 11's channel. She stamps with this all the time. So I picked one up last time I was at Walmart. So I'm going to see how it stamps. So um, I'm going to get started. Okay, so I'm going to start stamping. Um, I'm using this Milani White on the Spot. So this is kind of testing the new Cheeky Plate. It's kind of testing the Milani polish. And it's also kind of testing... Um, my new mash scraper ripoff that I got, um, if you watched that video. Okay, so there is our image. Okay, um, it kind of missed at the end here, so I am going to have to go back. That's the thing that's horrible about um, long nails. I have to go back and fill in, you know, what didn't what didn't stamp because the images just they just aren't long enough they just really aren't so it's like I always have to go back and kind of fix it and it really just doesn't look as good <sighs> so 
So I'm just going to kind of add some images um, just to make it look a little more uniform. Okay. Okay, so all of my stamping is done, and I just used the same image on all of my nails, and I just used the white color, so it kind of just creates a neat texture or accent. So um, I'm going to, I saved two of my nails. I'm going to do some accent nails, and this is, what's this called, Camille, um, and we got this in a Julep Spring Mystery Box not very long ago. So I'm going to do kind of like just glitter over this one. I'm actually going to do glitter on both of them. That actually looks really pretty over this blue. Glad I decided to do this. <laughs> okay, so, and you know glitter polish is a little bit tricky to try to get the little bits and pieces off and on the nail. So, um, kind of hard to see. But I just did um, a light layer of glitter over that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, kind of a gradient with the glitter. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with just one light coat of glitter on both of the accent nails. And um, that kind of mimics the design a little bit. Um, but I'm going to do kind of a gradient with the glitter where there's more at the bottom and, and less at the top. So I've done one layer on each of them and a lot of people use um, sponges to do gradients with glitter but I think I can do it just as easily with just the polish wand so after I did a whole layer I'm gonna start in the middle of the nail and not go all the way to the top of it I'm gonna start in the middle of the nail and do another layer from the middle oops I'm dripping from the middle down okay so if you can see here, there's less glitter up here, there's more glitter here. So I'm going to do that on both. This glitter, I actually really like it. I haven't used it yet. Starting at the middle. Okay, so you're going to start at the middle of the nail, not at the top. And we're just going to do another layer from the middle down to make that a little thicker. More glitter. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's that, and you can probably see a little bit better on this one. There's less glitter at the top, and then there's more towards the bottom. And then you just give it a second. You actually should probably let this dry completely in between coats, but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do one more coat of glitter. Sorry, I got some on the edge of my bottle. That's annoying. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do just one more coat of glitter. I'm not going to get that much on there because we're just going to do kind of like the bottom third, I guess, of the nail. And I am going to kind of glob it on, but I'm going to put top coat over that and it's going to make it look a lot better. Okay, so I'm done. Um, actually, since the top coat made the um, metallic sapphire bleed through the stamping. I decided to make the dark blue nails, the sapphire nails, I decided to put the glitter over all of them, Camille, um, just because I think it looks so pretty. It looks like stars in like a night sky or something. Um, so I just kind of did that one little modification at the end. So I'll have pictures of just the polish without stamping, the polish with the stamping, and then a picture of what I kind of decided to do at the end. I think it looks better with this glitter. Um, so I've got the light blue nails with the white stamping, and I've got the um, metallic sapphire, the darker blue, with the Camille glitter over them. So um, that's the final look. So I hope you like it, and... Um, Subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to see next, and have a wonderful day, ladies.